So how does Pebblepad work with Brightspace? Here we can see a course that is set up on Brightspace. In the background, our Brightspace admins have worked with the lovely Pebblepad support team to get some tools ready to add to courses in Brightspace. So here we are in Brightspace as a course leader or the person responsible for the setup of the course. They're adding two external learning tools, one for single sign-on to Pebblepad and another to set up and then view the corresponding workspace in Pebblepad's institutional space, Atlas, where Pebblepad assets can be submitted, graded and given feedback. You can see that in just a click, a user can easily see their personal learning space, Pebble Plus, and this can easily be viewed in a full screen mode too. Clicking the Atlas link for the first time prompts the setup for the Atlas workspace that will link to the Brightspace course you are in. You can see how all of the students and staff have access to the workspace and have the role that corresponds to the one they hold in Brightspace. So we can see all our students listed in the Members tab and our admins and tutors in the Managers tab. Now every time a user clicks the Atlas link in the Brightspace course, they are taken to this Atlas workspace. So let's see this from a student view. Donald logs into Brightspace, makes his way to the course, clicks the link to sign into Pebble Plus, where he's then going to complete a template and submit that to the Atlas workspace. Now Jose, our assessor, goes to grade the work by accessing the course in Brightspace and using the Atlas link. When a submission is viewed by a tutor, they can add feedback and give a grade. The grade they give can be numeric or a word such as pass or fail. You can also see how this grade is then passed to Brightspace and can be viewed amongst any of the grades associated with the course. For more information about integrations with Pebblepad, visit the Pebblepad community site.